Uh, good morning, welcome to a beautiful day on the uh, 9th of April 2023 and today is officially my first day I'm going to go out on Lake Erie on the Sea-Doo but before we get out there there's a few security checks we've got to do on the Sea-Doo to make sure it's safe and uh, lake worthy, water worthy before we get out there so uh, join me as uh, we head out onto the lake for the first time this season Sweet. All right, there we have it. Now, for the past few months, because it's been uh, winterized, it's been hooked up to the power. It's been trickle charging. So we've got to disconnect that first and do a few checks before we get out onto the water. Uh, the other day I did uh, start the CDU up to make sure the engine was running. Just fired it off literally five seconds and all was good. So we're going to disconnect the battery, get that ready, make sure the seat's perfect. I've got all my stuff in here, which we'll go through very, very shortly because I put that in yesterday. So uh, we'll start with getting the battery off. Before you all freak out, I'm not disconnecting the battery. I'm actually removing the trickle charger, which is just a lead. I don't know why I said disconnect the battery. This is also a, t a good time to uh, have a quick inspection inside the hull. See if you see anything that's shit materialized in there. And I do. Oh my God. Animals have got in. That is not good. I'm seeing sawdust and everything down there. Seeds. Shit. All right, I was a bit concerned because I just saw a bit of seed that was in my garage. I noticed during the winter that somehow it ended up in my sea -doo. Um I just got the leaf blower, blew what I could see. Then anything that came out was just this little bit here. I stuck my camera in there, my phone, to get a good look at different angles. And I'm not seeing anything of concern, really alarming. There's literally, I don't know, that's just got in. Because my seat was slightly just off by um, a couple of millimeters as the as this was connected. And somehow I seem to have got seed in there. And yeah, anyway, I'll give it another check over before we do anything else. Give it a good blowout again. I'm not sure where it came in from. There's a good possibility if something did get in, it may have come in from they may have found a way in through the hose or even from here because I don't think they could have got in from the sea there, there wasn't enough room there was literally two or three millimeters uh, but anyway I had a good look I don't see any damage down there so I'm gonna have to go with it but anyway in the meantime just gonna disconnect the uh, the battery trickler on this which is just this here disconnect that put the cap back on and that one I'll just sit in there. That's all good. Get the seat back on and uh, do another inspection of everything else. And before we make our way down to the uh, the boat ramp, so I do a few check overs on the uh, Sea-Doo itself, including the drain plugs, which is a most important thing here. Uh, one of the biggest errors people make when launching the Sea-Doo at the beginning of the season, whether the newbies or, or people who've been out quite often, uh, drain plugs. It's a very common thing. People get to put them in, they're in a rush. And uh, next thing they know, they're sailing away and then 10 minutes later, they're sinking. So a good thing I tend to do before I go out is uh, open them like that and then close and then close them again. Then I know I've touched them. It registers in my brain that I've done it. I'll do that to both. Just open it up and close it. And uh, I'll recheck these when I get to the boat ramp before I launch. Do a visual inspection of everything around you. Uh, the vessel, it's the first time you've been out and you haven't used it for four or five months. Make sure everything's fine. Uh, step comes down, everything's moving in order. Check the trailer while you're at it. Uh, check under there. I did get under these first to make sure these. <laughs> Got some good scratches underneath there. Make sure the trailer's in good working order. All the hookups are all done correctly. Everything's tight. Everything's in good place. Oh, I need to put my new sticker on for this year. I'll do that very shortly. And uh, yeah, straps are nice and tight, ready to go. Now also, before you head out down to the, the water, wherever you're going, to your launch, to make sure you have your emergency stuff with you. So check your equipment, fire extinguisher, your little uh, emergency uh, equipment kit here, which I've never used. I've got my fenders in here. I got my dock ties in there, 
uh, tow rope if I should need it. And most importantly, an awl, just in case I break down. I've got something to paddle back with. I've got my anchor in there. And very shortly, a few, a few extra things in there, like my radio and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. So, uh, let's go get ready. All right, save time down at the waterfront. I'll put the wetsuit on ready. So, I just got to put my arms in and I'm good to go. Um, the water is only four or five degrees Celsius right now. So, what's that? F uh, 44, 45 Fahrenheit. So, uh, yeah, extra layers. Uh, be safe, don't want to get hypothermia because if I fall in and injure myself it's going to take a while before someone comes and finds me because it's not that busy out there yet. So anyway, we're already, let's go. Off on our first adventure for the year, I'm, I'm excited, uh, 9th of April. It's a little cold, um, as I was saying, I think I've got this, the screen. So uh, 8 degrees right now. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty chilly down here. Uh, Northeasterly wind, which is keeping it cool. Uh, but thankfully, I'm a little sheltered here because I'm on the... Uh, south side of Niagara, which will help quite a lot. Um, but the lake is pretty calm. Uh, someone's just beeping their horn at me. I don't know who it was. Um, they probably just saw me filming. <laughs> so yeah, let, let's go. Crystal Beach, first ride of the season. I am super pumped right now to hit the water, get the sea view out there and uh, freeze my ass off for the first time this year. Once again, I was saying earlier on, make sure you double check your train plugs. <laughs> a must. <sighs> yeah. All right, they're all good. Straps off, wear suit fully on, and uh, we'll get out of here. If you're on Twitter, check this guy out, Dennis. That guy is out 24 hours a day, I think. Every day of the year he's out uh, on the Niagara River in the winter and uh, Lake Erie and other places. Worth checking him out. Coffee, bag, everything, vest, we're ready to go. See if it works for the year. I'm gonna have some fun on the water for an hour. Let's do this. Good sign, started first time. Let's get it run for a few seconds, make sure everything's all right, then we'll uh, move on out and just maneuver a little bit. But so far, so good. Uh, GPS is working, engine's running fine, it's just idling nicely right now. Uh, just gonna pack everything away, like my ropes, but uh, all's looking good. Look at this water, it's like glass, just like glass today. Absolutely beautiful. Welcome to April on Lake Erie. <laughs> Keep on the dog waving, I like it. Watching me leave. Right, let's put this rope away and then we can get cracking. All right, here we go. Whoa, feels nice. A little chilly, uh, but it definitely feels nice to be out. Oh yeah. Lovely. All right, I'm not gonna lie, it's cold. It's eight degrees, but that, that cold air is a lot colder. It's probably like, feels like zero. So uh, gloves and uh, some kind of hat going on right now, I'm telling you. Ready? Yeah. 
Over here. Oh, just pull that down. Ooh, come breathe. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it into the lighthouse due to the water being too murky due to recent storms. Yeah, I lost the top bit of my hat. It's here. I got a bit warm when I was down by that lighthouse, so uh, anyway, this is one of the most beautiful things about owning the sea -Doo. Uh Just coming out of the lake whenever you feel like it, coming out into the middle of nowhere, sitting down, shut the engine off, and just listen to this. That is peace and quiet. I can hear a very, very faint hum of the city of Buffalo because we've got northeasterly wind. So Buffalo's way down there, about 15 kilometers away. Uh, you can just about hear the hum just slowly making its way over here. But uh, this is beautiful. I'm going to sit here now and uh, do my usual thing. Take my glasses off because the sun feels really nice. Get some sun on my face and uh, sup of coffee. Oh. It's going to be a good summer. Uh, speaking of summer, because uh, I follow storms and I've chased a few over the winter, especially the, uh, the blizzard we had, uh, we had a very mild February and March was a little cooler, but the, the, the mild weather in February stopped the uh, lake from freezing very much so. Uh, we started to get some ice on the lake early in the season and then we had a, quite a warm spell in February and the ice never really, really took a hold. Then we kept getting stormed, just kept smashing it up. So we had ice close to shore, but nothing out here. Uh, I don't think the lake got even got, got to about 30% ice coverage this year. We just had to get through March because we knew it was going to be chilly. Um, about seasonal or just slightly below, uh, but it was too late in the season for the ice to for the ice to form because the sun gets stronger as it gets higher as we get closer to spring. And once we got through that last spell just recently, we now got some really nice weather. Uh, the rest of April into May is now looking fantastic on the long range forecast. In the next few days, we're expecting temperatures to now climb from eight degrees Celsius down here up to 20 degrees by next week, which is going to really warm this lake up very quickly. Uh, lake Erie is going to be a fantastic place as a playground this year. If you've got a boat, a sea do, or even just want to go out to the beach, the water is going to be lovely and warm by mid-May this year. Trust me, it's going to be really, really nice.
Now this is my playground, the Niagara River and the Peace Bridge. This, this is where the fun lives. This, this is here. That, that is just the current. I am actually going with the current right now, not moving. fingertips but apart from that my hands are warm except for my tips and my fingers and apart from that I'm feeling warm my chest is warm all I've got underneath it I just got a, a, my wetsuit on which is a three and four millimeter wetsuit uh, my legs are perfectly fine and so is my arms um, a little just here maybe if I wore a different life vest which cover me up a little bit more I'd be fine but just feel a little chill here apart from that it's only what out on the lake it's probably like five degrees inland it's like nine ten degrees it feels really nice today uh much warmer than last year's first uh, ride of the season so yeah i'm happy so i'm glad i brought a coffee though uh keep me warmed up oh it's good All right, don't forget to like and subscribe to the video, by the way. Uh, my name is Nigel, I am the Lake Erie vlogger. Uh, mainly doing uh, storm chasing around the Niagara region. A few uh, travel reviews and also expeditions on my sea do exploring the Great Lakes here of uh, Lake Erie and some of the waterways nearby and so on. So uh, like, subscribe for more stuff like this.
All right, back on dry land. That is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one.